Hey friends, Tom Wiley here. Quick tip if you're having to tow a vehicle by yourself. I've got my plow rig up there towing my old Ford here and um, I don't have help available right now to tow it, but I need to move it. So um, here's a tip on how to accomplish that safely enough. Okay, so the main thing comes down to directional control of the vehicle that is being towed. And as you can see, you can use the seat belt for that. I just towed this from down there it was parked over next to the house and so I just angled the steering wheel you know steering wheel so that the tires were angled somewhat you know to make it into the curve going this way as it came up you can see the tire tracks that it that it fall that it left and that was just by seat you know nice tight um, seat belt on the on the steering wheel so it's difficult to turn um, I straightened it then buckled it tight again so now I'm ready to tow again and go further up the hill. <clears throat> so I'm, my goal is to go up there to the top of the driveway and then I'll coast the tow vehicles. That one's not running right now, so that's why I'm having to tow it. I'm just gonna drive up to the top of the hill, keep an eye in my mirrors to make sure that this thing isn't going too far astray. And, and then I'll stop. Obviously you have a braking issue as well. Um, one way to deal with that is, uh, well, A, I'm going up a hill, so I'm not really concerned. It's always going to leave tension on the toe, toe strap, and it'll be fine. Um, another way you could accomplish that if you're more on level ground or towing slightly downhill is set the parking brake on the vehicle being towed. Set that parking brake some uh, so that... Hey, sorry about that. My camera died while I was finishing uh, explaining that, but I had to keep rolling that night and just get it done. This is now several, year, several years, several days later, and I want to finish describing this to you. So what I was saying was to keep the vehicle from freewheeling forward uh, if you're on more level ground or slightly downhill ground, you know, downhill forward, um, you can either engage the parking brake somewhat on this, the vehicle being towed, uh, enough so that the vehicle won't roll on its own, but the powering vehicle, the vehicle that's towing this vehicle, uh, the power of that towing vehicle can overcome this parking brake and just kind of drag it along. That's one option. Another option is to just grab a small a chalk, either a you know small piece of firewood or a rock or whatever, and place it in front of the tire, but in increments. So put it several feet forward. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a guesswork involved. You just predict the path that that tire is going to follow and put a chalk, you know, several feet ahead in that place. Another option if you're, you know, really not sure where it's going to go, if it's especially if like right now the wheels are turned some. So if it's going to go in an arc and you're not quite sure how to accurately predict that arc, just use a longer log. like. You know, I could use, I'd want bigger diameter than that, but I could use a longer chunk, you know, say a piece this long or so. Um, I mean, even, you could even use something just the full width so it would catch both tires. It would catch that tire and that tire with a foot or so of margin on either side. Just put that in front of the vehicle, you know, a ways, 10, 12 feet or whatever. And so you can tow it that amount forward, you know, going downhill or, or level ground. It'll bump against that chalk and stop, and then you can, you know, stop, reset, put that chalk further out, tow a little bit more. Um, so that's another idea and an option. Um, also, it wouldn't have been a bad idea because uh, that night I was towing uphill. It wouldn't have been a bad idea to just maintain a log or a chalk or something behind this old truck, you know, a little ways, or, or put it right behind the back tire and then I would tow forward a ways. If the tow strap was to break or something was to go wrong, then the vehicle wouldn't coast all the way downhill into our house. <laughs> it would just coast downhill until it reached that chalk. So that's not a bad safety idea. If you're on your own, you're not manning this rear, the vehicle being towed, have things in place so that if something goes wrong, the vehicle will eventually stop before running into something. Well, I hope you enjoyed these tips on how to tow a vehicle by yourself if you don't have any help 
handy at the moment. Um, as always, keep things safe. Use your, you know, use your noggin. Don't do anything um, foolish or that you feel you don't feel confident doing, because um, you know stuff's real. Accidents can happen doing this kind of thing. So just be safe. And obviously, you are responsible for your own actions. I think that's enough butt covering for now. <laughs> if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, and as always, subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll catch you on the next one.